Okay, today is May 9th. Um, so a few little things got done. Uh, mainly what I've been doing, again, it's the front of this thing again. It's getting a little old. But, uh, I got the, uh, the two bottom, all of the uh, motor mounts are done. Uh, I got the two bottom ones done. Uh, that looks a lot worse than it is. It's just uh, paint mess. Um, <clears throat> this here is just clecoed in uh, for now because I'm getting ready to do the uh, the top mounts. These here uh, are uh, waiting for the primer to finish drying. So uh, once that's done, once the primer's done drying, I can uh, I can put those on. Uh, and that'll be done. I also, uh, for whatever reason, uh, didn't have enough of the uh, uh, right size bolts, so I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I ordered a, a whole bunch of uh, different sizes uh, to be sure that I had enough from uh, aircraft spruce of the same type that are that came with the kit. So uh, uh, I'm gonna wait and put. I'm gonna wait for uh, for those bolts to to show up sometime next week or this week. And then put the uh, uh, the yeah. motor mounts in, uh, and then that'll be done. Uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, brace that goes here uh, that uh, the primer is still drying, uh, and I don't really want to put that on until I get the motor motor mount in anyway. So uh, it's basically waiting for primer to dry and and having all the right size bolts, uh, which should be sometime probably towards the end of the week. I'll actually get those motor mounts in uh, depending on how much uh, time I have like all the motor mounts are, are fabricated from uh, from aluminum blocks all those slats in the front to the little braces that go on there uh, these braces down uh, here are all uh, fabricated and they're pretty complicated uh, I'll probably include some pictures in the video but you can see you know they're they're fairly complex shapes for the uh, Next couple weeks, it'll just be getting you know the uh, the supports in for the uh, spar and getting the spar on, and it also depends on uh, how long it takes for those uh, bolts to get here. But it should be uh, sometime in the middle of uh, coming week. So that's the progress so far. I kind of got it oriented uh, so uh, you know there's enough room for the the plane. I uh, uh, had to get a ladder in there. Uh, to be able to uh, to work on these so uh, <laughs> that was my uh, solution for for getting in there uh, rather than just setting it on the floor okay today is may 16th and i guess the progress the major progress that i've made so far is getting this all squared away uh, uh, that's a bit of a uh, job getting that done getting those guts it's perfectly square and that top part perfectly level and measuring everything a, a thousand times to make sure it's all square and same with this guy so that the next step isn't actually putting this in place I'm just putting this in place so I can build the two uh, arms that go from here to uh, to here that they have to be uh, fabricated so uh, I'll be doing that soon uh, I've got to prime them it's not primed either so it'll take a, a day or two for it you know to get it primed and uh, and for it to dry and everything before I can work on it so there's that uh, of course all that's been done for a while uh, the uh, I think in the last video I uh, I went through you know getting all this stuff done uh, so all four motor mounts are, are in now and they're level and they're uh, exactly to to spec and everything okay this is the uh, step of getting all of the uh, members on top of the uh, the you know the door frame and getting the uh, uh, the main spar uh, lashed down with all the uh, support members uh, this one here uh, goes across there and then it's connected to that enormous uh, gusset on the end of this large uh, strut here. So um, this one here took forever to <laughs> uh, 
uh, to get you know like perfectly parallel with this. So that took a while. Uh, the reason being, uh, this one uh, right out of the box, it was perfect. Uh, everything matched. Uh, this one, uh, the uh, the holes drilled in or the pilot holes uh, for the uh, that large gusset were just slightly off. Uh, so uh, I had to uh, uh, to make some new pilot holes and, and drill the the holes in the right spot. Uh, and of course, that uh, there's a uh, a nut plate in behind there that uh, doesn't quite match the drawing. The drawings show it uh, riveted in, but it's actually got two extra screws, one on each side, that are uh, um, that are you know flush mounted to the uh, to that big spar. So uh, that's how that that's what took forever to get this one done. Uh, once it was once the the whole alignment was adjusted. Uh, it was uh, perfect and it perfectly matches this one. It was only about a quarter of an inch off and maybe I'm just being picky, but I, I wanted it to be exact. So that's what took a little while. Uh, uh, this uh, strut here really didn't take any time. Uh, it just has to be, uh, you know, cut at an angle for that and, and that's all it is. Uh, this one on the other hand is pretty complicated. There's a, uh, a cut here and a slight cut there. And of course, this end is curved. And of course, it'll, uh, it'll still have to be, uh, needs a little bit of uh, grinding uh, at the edge there. You can see it's a little bit uh, uh, too, uh, too kind of in. Uh, it needs to be uh, perfectly, the, the circle's perfect, just that very little edge there needs to be grinded off so it fits perfectly flush. But other than that, it's it's uh, uh, it's going nicely. Uh, that there's if I could stretch way up there, uh, there's a lash that goes underneath that, uh, and then there's of course uh, a uh, another strut that comes down this way, and you know some support kind of cross beams in between. But that's that's much later. But just getting uh, the the first step is getting this one on, getting that lash fabricated. And then the other uh, 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 strut that, that goes down there and kind of forms the actual angle of the uh, the windshield. Uh, well, and I've just got a couple of clamps holding it so it doesn't roll off. So uh, next video will probably be showing that side complete, all of those uh, laths uh, being uh, uh, strapped over, uh, and hopefully. Also, the, the two members that come down on each side here. So this is uh, the uh, last uh, strut that goes over uh, top of here. Uh, that's how that is going on. I'm going to pause for a couple days uh, because I, I ran into a materials issue, which I'll kind of explain. Uh, other than that, uh, it's slow going, but it's uh, it's going up, going fairly well. I decided to go ahead and clean things up because I keep leaving tools all over the place. But so while I was here, while I was here, I made uh, these two uh, that that go. that go uh, on top of uh, here, and they go underneath those, uh, uh, and uh, th all of those rest on top of this kind of lash thing. That'll be the job when I get back to, uh, to this part. Uh, you can see like right now, that's just kind of sticking up in the air. It, uh, it actually folds down, and then it m mates with another uh, strut there. But I can't really do anything until I get that other uh, uh, piece and I'll explain that. Uh, down here uh, there's a really long piece of uh, angle that uh, uh, that you cut those out of and then you uh, uh, cut all the crazy shapes and stuff uh, out of them and uh, and that uh, circle, circle out of there uh, so that goes around the wing spar so but that one is uh, about six inches too short. Not the short one, but the, the long one. The short one 
uh, I've got enough material to make the two leftover shorty pieces that are uh, they're supposed to come out of this that one but the the longer one uh, for some reason uh, uh, it's just not long enough I don't know if I wasted too much material or, or what I did but it's uh, it's nowhere near long enough like it's it's a good six seven inches too short so I'm gonna have to look into uh, getting a uh, you know a four foot piece that I can cut down uh, so that's what I'll be waiting on once that's done uh, all the uh, struts and stuff come down here and there's a bunch of cross members that go in there there's a gusset that goes on there uh, on each side and then of course you know the cross members on the back so that'll probably be another week's work once I get that uh, that angle uh, and that angle that I'm talking about is uh, the mirror image of, of this one here that's already done. So one thing I should probably mention is uh, I grabbed one of these from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm sure you can get them lots of places, but uh, there's a Harbor Freight freight that's fairly close to where I live. So uh, for making that uh, uh, circular portion, of course you put a pencil on there. Uh, for making that uh, circular portion, uh, it was really handy because what I did was uh, uh, these are two of the measurements uh, from the, the drawings uh, where the uh, top of the circle lines up so uh, I just laid the the angle here uh, and then lined it up uh, and just drew these out a little ways and then just put this on here I just put those, this on here until the the circle lined up perfectly with the uh, you know so I've got it out like that uh, per the the drawings and then I was easy easily able to just you know swish around and get a perfect absolutely perfect circle uh, into the uh, drawn into the the metal so I knew exactly where to cut it so uh, this worked really well so that's probably uh, uh, this will probably be the last video I do for probably a week or more because I've got to wait a couple days for that uh, uh, that other angle to come in so I can I can fabricate that and then it'll probably take the rest of that week uh, to put all the uh, the other pieces together and just about everything is fabricated to some degree but once all this stuff is is done you know it'll, it'll start looking more, <laughs> more like an airplane and you'll be able to see you know where the the cockpit lines actually fall with those uh, struts and everything uh, uh, put in uh, and I expect that to take a, a solid week to uh, to put all that together. Uh, so that is my life for the next couple weeks. So, and today is May twenty second. Okay, today is May twenty fourth, and I'm getting a little uh, closer to. Uh, finishing off getting this uh, whole assembly over top of the uh, main spar done uh, you can see the one isn't uh, on there on, on either side yet uh, I've got uh, one of them uh, completed uh, and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later um, if you're wondering what this rope is for uh, <laughs> I didn't have a really long uh, and I didn't have any come alongs or anything which probably would have been better but uh, uh, I was able to uh, to just use this rope that I had just a le some leftover tie down rope uh, so what I was trying to do is you can see uh, you know with a level uh, and everything uh, getting that perfectly straight uh, this side was just ever so slightly you know say a half a degree out so you know you could see it uh, it wasn't square with the rest of the the cabin and that rear part isn't on yet holding those two a little more rigid in the back so that makes it a little more difficult but uh, i was able to uh, to get to it by you know first leveling this whole thing and then putting another level on uh, on the side here uh, and you can see now everything is, is perfectly square, or at least <laughs> as much as the camera will show. So basically what I did was uh, uh, just tied the rope on one end, uh, made it a little too tight uh, on this side, and then just backed it off until it was perfectly square. 
Uh, and the only real need for that right now is just so I can get this bang on. Uh, I didn't want to, and I'm not gonna be drilling any holes into the main spar yet, but I wanted everything to be uh, as if I was doing that, so everything would be perfectly square and, and fit up exactly the way it's supposed to. And so uh, here that you can see the uh, the significantly upsized uh, hardware. Hopefully the camera can can focus on that. I've got the phone so close to me that I, <laughs> my eyes are blurry. Um, so uh, and the same thing on this side. This bolt will actually have to come out. I just wanted to get to the the holes match drilled there, and uh, it looks like this is actually off. Uh, but it's actually not. Uh, what's going to happen is on this side, there are, uh, get down here, there are uh, two large bolts that are going to go in there, and those will go through the spar, uh, holding that rock solid, and, and those bolts are even bigger than the, you know, the, the one that's down here. So uh, uh, there will be two down there uh, holding the, the spar on, and then this piece here, uh, will uh, will go over top uh, and it will you know bend over like that and it'll uh, it'll match up a little better once everything's solid down of course that bolt is in the way so it's not gonna it's not gonna go on perfect right now but that's that's the 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 idea is this goes over top of everything of course that that bolt goes through this one but I haven't drilled it yet I wanted to make sure everything was perfect before I did that uh, <clears throat> of course this one here uh, when it uh, when it bends down when you uh, uh, when you bend that down it's going to form an angle down to about here then there will be another cross brace and then the final uh, the final piece uh, will come down here to form the uh, the the front completely and uh, there's some cross bracing that goes on there and of course there's a a, a large piece that has to be uh, slightly trimmed to, to go on the back there uh, and then there's two large gussets that go here for uh, for attaching a lot of the cross bracing so that's basically what I'm up to so uh, one thing I wanted to mention even though it, it becomes kind of obvious uh, is those straps in the uh, drawing uh, it looks like they, they wrap right around, but they don't. Uh, I originally uh, bent these, uh, well, I didn't really bend them perfectly round anyway, so it didn't matter. But uh, uh, in the drawings, it kind of looks like these just wrap right around the uh, the, uh, the spar, but they don't. Uh, so they, they kind of end up looking like, uh, I don't know, ski jumps or something rather than perfectly round uh, straps. So... Uh, when you go to bend them, I wouldn't bend them all the way around. Uh, you can see in the, the photos that I'll uh, include in the video how I uh, I just attach them with clamps around this to to bend them at the perfect uh, you know uh, round circumference, and then uh, just uh, used a, a, a vise to to make the the bend permanent because it was you know wasn't perfect, uh, and then uh, of course you gotta. Uh, finagle these a little bit to uh, to get them straight to uh, to mount to the the other uh, pieces but so that they aren't perfectly round like they are in the in the drawing okay today is May 31st Memorial Day and I'm just gonna make a quick video of where I'm at right now uh, before I clean up and and go home for the day uh, I the uh, the the main spar is completely done now. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, that part that isn't primed is actually going to be replaced with the uh, proper metal. The piece that I ordered from Aircraft Spruce, uh, as luck would have it, was on a train that derailed, so uh, it didn't get here before uh, the the Memorial Day weekend. So. I just uh, grabbed a, a cheap piece of uh, aluminum from uh, from Home Depot and made the exact same part, uh, but I'll be uh, I'll be replacing it. And you know, you can see I wasn't super careful about you know making it uh, perfectly. If I can get it to focus there, 
Uh, I wasn't super careful about getting it absolutely perfect around the, the circle. Mind you, the other one isn't really either, but uh, uh, the the uh, the actual part that I uh, that I make uh, with the proper alloy will be a little bit nicer anyway. But uh, it holds everything in place while I'm uh, you know doing uh, the rest of this. So uh, uh, see if I can. Okay, so the those spars are uh, are completely done drilled bolted measured a thousand times made sure they were level made sure they matched made sure their water lines and uh, station lines were exact according to the drawings which takes forever um, one issue I ran into and it's I sort of documented it before was this gusset here uh, is about an eighth of an inch uh, I don't I didn't actually go and measure them it's probably an eighth of an inch off uh, compared to this one it's either eight an eighth of an inch off or it's an eighth of an inch uh, short uh, which caused me some confusion okay why is this bar not lining up uh, and that was why so there's there's no real problem it just there's a you know somewhere between an eighth and a sixteenth of an inch more of a gap between the spar and and this large uh, piece here than uh, than on this side and you know unless you really look at it you can't tell and it's uh, uh, everything is straight you know if I even if I put the camera there you can't really tell it they they, they look the same so that's where I'm at with that uh, as I run into the ladder so on here I've just got this clee code for now um, this side here, I, I could have just bolted down, but uh, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. Uh, uh, this side here and, and the other side is clay code because I'm actually replacing that part with the, the actual real metal. And uh, so this, this windshield part here is uh, completely done and uh, countersunk and bolted on. Uh, this was actually pretty easy. Um, the, the one thing you'll really want to have for, for doing this part, if you do it in place, uh, is the, uh, is an angle drill because you're not going to get in there with, <laughs> with a regular drill. It's just too tight. But, uh, I was, uh, I was able to do, uh, you know, these two here with a, with an angle drill. And then this one here, uh, I'll include some photos at the end of the video or in the middle or something, uh, that shows, you know, doing that. I just put the gusset on top. And you know, clecoed everything and clamped it down and got the right holes and then just match drilled it to uh, uh, and then put the gusset where I, where it actually goes. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, the cheapo Home Home Depot uh, piece. So it doesn't look like this one here, which doesn't really match the uh, the, the round piece that comes down by the windshield, but. Uh, you know, uh, the new one will look will look right. And uh, this cross piece here, I believe I didn't even have to cut that. That was just uh, already to size. Uh, there's uh, this one does have to be cut. Uh, you can see the the notches I had to put in that. That's you know that was pretty easy. Uh, and getting the uh, uh, the bolts in on there. There's actually a, a couple spacers in behind, uh, in behind here to keep this piece even with the rest of, you know, this. So there's a, there's a spacer under there. This one's a little too long, <laughs> uh, but uh, so yeah, there's a spacer in behind there, and I don't know if you can see. That's what. That's what that looks like on the uh, on the other side. It's really bright outside, so the camera's probably... Well, maybe it's my eyes that are struggling. So that's that's what it looks like on the uh, on the inside. <clears throat> so if you if you look at the uh, spar, there's some uh, significantly <laughs> large uh, hardware that that bolts all that on, and uh, there's there's two on the top, uh, one on the uh, front, and then on the uh, the lash that goes over top of there uh, there's another uh, there's a large bolt in behind here 
and another one here. You know, you can see them on top, or at least one of them on top. So that's the one. The, uh, the other one is is underneath here. So if you uh, if you look, that's uh, the one on the the lash, and that's uh, you have to look on the other side. And that's the other one. <laughs> Hope the camera got that. And the rest of this, uh, these uh, gussets here are not in the right place. They're just uh, clamped on so the, the spacing is right. Like th this has to come out the bottom of this. And when you're looking at the drawings and trying to figure out what they're saying, <laughs> for some reason I just couldn't get what they were trying to get at. But once I it, you know, put everything on the, the frame and, and put it together, oh, that's why they want me you know, to make more room. Okay, I get it. So uh, this one here, and there, there's another one over there. Uh, they need to be uh, uh, positioned properly and, and uh, drilled and everything. Uh, they're just sitting there clamped, so they uh, the the spacing is correct for now. Uh, the, so the next part, uh, the next uh, step, is to put the uh, the large uh, cross brace on the back here. Uh, that just needs to basically be uh, cut, I believe. I don't think there's a whole lot else. It may not even need to be cut, I, but I think it does need to be cut to size. And then there's some cross bracing that, that needs to go in, in here uh, as well. Uh, and so it's getting close to being done. The, uh, the fuselage portion is getting close to being, or not the fuselage, the uh, cabin portion is uh, getting close to being done. Uh, so once that's done, of course, uh, this table gets covered with more things that look like a plane. So uh, it's starting to look like a BD-4. Uh, you can actually see, you know, what the the, the uh, cockpit actually looks like. Uh, if I didn't document it before, I finally uh, buckled down and uh, completely primed all the rest of the uh, pieces. I got this uh, these super long uh, fuselage pieces primed. Uh, a couple of those long pieces need the uh, the other side to be primed. The rest of these uh, smaller pieces are over here. Uh, one thing I would mention, and I actually had to go back over the uh, some of these, not all of them. The spray primer from uh, Eastwood, it it's not the same as the uh, the brush on the brush on just. Uh, this is much nicer. I don't know if, if it matters, but the texture is really rough. Uh, the spray texture is really rough. The uh, the brush on, it's just really smooth and it, uh, it just makes me working with the parts that much easier. Uh, if I had it to do again, I probably wouldn't even use the spray paint. I'd save it for touch-ups. Uh, and there's not a lot there either. Uh, the uh, I actually I had to finish some of these with the, the, the brush on anyway because those cans, there's not a whole lot in there. Uh, so uh, if you if you do buy that kit, uh, if you don't plan on using the uh, the spray cans, it might even be a little cheaper just to uh, just to buy the, the brush on paint or roll on or however you're going to do it uh, instead of getting the, the cans because I didn't find them very useful at all. So that's the state of affairs. Uh, really nice day today. Uh, I'll... Uh, I'll probably get back to it in a couple days and uh, probably make a, another video in about a week or so. So thanks for watching.